Pick okay, number one. First, I tried to come in with three that were down, and I got two of them that are down. I've got uh, Lily, and I like Lily because I do a lot of work with uh, two different uh, brain foundations um, for things that are unfortunately wrong with my brain, but it's, that's, it should be like your liver or your elbow. And everyone is pretty positive that I talk to about what's going on with Lily and Alzheimer's. And I think that that's very important. And they've got a diabetes drug that's going to be big. And everybody hates the drug. So I come in with that one. I like it. Um, I also come in with Honeywell. But that one just ran. It almost makes me feel like that's the end of the rotation <laughs> into, into earning stocks. Is that's the last one to go. Makes me keep an eye again on Salesforce and whether we sh should be starting to think about buying those stocks. Because Honeywell is the, the last. Uh, when you finally see the laggards, loggards, excuse me, Will. When you finally see the loggards <laughs> go, then that may mean the that laggards. we're the third and last day of this rotation. <laughs> I, I like Chevron because I just think that oil is still undervalued, even after last year. And the oil companies have newfound discipline. And then uh, I raised my price target for Bausch just uh, just now for the invest for the investment club. And the reason I did that, why I like it for the investment club is Joe Pop has done everything you could ask. He's splitting the company into three. Nobody seems to really care about it. It has got no sponsorship whatsoever. He's cut debt by $10 billion. The Bausch, uh, which is going to be the fundamental piece that you're going to get, is still the, the premium, I, the Mercedes of eye care. Uh, I really like their skin program, the Salta, because they're, um, they, a lot of people don't understand it, but once we beat COVID, people are going to want in. They're going to want to do Fraxel. They're going to want to look better. That's a key part. And then they have a cats and dogs, uh, Salix, uh, driven pharmaceutical business that I can uh, that I could do without. But I like a big breakup story, and I think that that one is going to be the breakup story of the J and J, G E, and Bausch. I like Bausch Health as the best breakup. Okay, now let's take these to the committee. Joe, my memory sometimes fails me, but I think you owned Honeywell at one point, and maybe that was within the past few years, two three years. I don't know if you own it anymore. But what do you think about Jim's pick? Honeywell is like saying the Patriots are going to make the playoffs. I mean, it's a, it's a reliable, consistent, and expected uh, outcome. So I love that mm -hmm. pick. Oh, great. Um, Thank Chevron, you. Mike Mike Worth, he's the, he's the best executive yep. in the energy business by far. Bausch, I understand, and, and the, uh, the, the management of the balance sheet, they're reducing debt, they're doing a good job. I think Carl Icahn has a big uh, uh, allocation in this stock as well. The one that's interesting to me, Eli Lilly, sorry, Jim, I would have went in another direction with that one. And really? I'm actually going to buy this stock at the end of the day. Merck, pull up a chart of Merck today. Merck is breaking out. The, the, the growth portfolio is completely undervalued. I think Merck is the best setup right now for large cap healthcare.